birds are very numerous and varied in Kruger Park, and they often provide opportunities for interesting pictures. When I saw at the beginning of my stay a large nest at the top of this isolated tree, a few meters from the road, obviously occupied by stork chicks, but what species I did not know at first sight, I decided to come back the following days to see the parents and probably easily take on this fixed place within camera range, more or less spectacular landings and takeoffs. The next morning, I returned to the foot of the tree. Les trois jeunes attendent. Moi aussi. Ça peut durer un moment. Prêt à prendre les parents cigognes qui arrivent de ce côté. Ça fait trois heures que j'attends. Ça ne devrait pas tarder. Eh bien, toujours rien à l'horizon. Les voitures passent, mais ne restent pas. Alors, tu as vu Non, peut-être. Non, peut-être. Ce n'est pas fréquent. J'aperçois les jeunes en haut. Ils sont nourris très fréquemment par leurs parents que j'attends de pied ferme avec la GoPro et surtout l'appareil de photo mes parents s'ils arrivent After four and a half hours of waiting, here is finally the reward. It's therefore a saddle-built stork, one of the largest birds in the world, 1 meter 50 to 1 meter 70, undoubtedly one of the most beautiful too. Here a female with yellow eyes, the male has black eyes, regurgitating food, mainly fish, frog, crustaceans, before leaving after a few minutes in a takeoff which will be spectacular. Then Rangers pass. Another stork appears. This time it's a male because he has black eyes. There are only about 20 pairs of these storks left in Kruger Park. We therefore do not meet them every day and they usually have too young to feed and not three as here, which is not an easy task to feed them all three to their hunger. It seems to be thinking about its next takeoff. It will take off.
Bon, je suis à nouveau devant le nid de cigogne avec aujourd'hui un ciel un peu chargé. En fait, il y a eu une tempête brève hier soir. Effectivement, ce matin, on constate qu'il a été coupé en deux. After another wait of several hours, the mail arrives suddenly. The young are fed again. Then it plunges to the ground. As expected, he picked up a few blades of dry grass. It went back to the nest and will leave. I'm going back the next day at dawn. I find the female trying to get supplies in a pound located not far from the nest. Without success, it flies off and goes to another water hole. It's a frog. It washes it carefully from its mud. It goes back to its nest. I pressed it to the nest. This roller was often close to the car because he actually lived on the middle floor of the stork tree and it came to hunt on the road where he had good visibility of insects, grasshoppers and beetles.
Other birds are busy. Grey hornbeam, yellow billed hornbeam. There was also passage above the nest with this better fishy girl. This time it's an elephant that appears right next to the stalk tree. And this Olenic stalk. On their page, the young storks see their parents coming from afar and they begin to snap their beaks. It's a moment for me to take out the camera because one or the other of the parents indeed arrive quickly. I just heard the snapping of beaks and I had time to point my camera in the distance. I am in front of the stork tree and train it to say several bill stork with the right accent. Otherwise people passing by and asking me what these birds are don't immediately understand. When they get it, they usually tell me no no that doesn't sound like this. I told them that I saw the parents and the discussion is over. A car had just stopped near me and questions me. Hello. Cedar Bill Stork. Yes. Sweet.
The male is fishing in a swamp. The male has left and the female replaced him. It's a crab. When a stork walks and starts to look up, it's usually about to take off. I came to the foot of this tree about 10 times and I stayed on average 3 hours each time, which adds up to 3 whole days. But this subject was worth it from the point of view of imagery. I find the female in another water hole. It's a big clam, but she can't open it. A little further on, the male was in a draining water hole where there was a multitude of teeming fish already half asphyxiated and he had no trouble grabbing them. He pecked on some which were already dead. He preferred those that were still alive. He is now seated. He made a turn on the wing to return to the nest for a few moments. Then he left, which was my last sight of this copper because my stay was almost over. To be able to observe this whole cycle, construction of the nest, mating, lying of eggs, breeding, birth, feeding and first flight of the group, it will be necessary to be able to return regularly three or four months in a row to the same place, which is only possible for those who live all year round not far from the park.